Good luck, guys. Hello and welcome to Candle Pins for Cancer, live from Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, raising money for bowlers and their families against the costs of this terrible disease. Donate or take part by going to candlepinsforcancer.com as you see it on your screen. Introducing the stars of our final doubles matchup, our three-time previous winner with a 1352 handicap qualifier, Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole. And our number one seed with a 1437 handicap roll-off, Sean Duran and Dave Kelly. And now your host, Paul Grant. Thanks, Greg. We are great to be with you again. Welcome to the finals here at the Big 20. What do you say, folks? <laughs> you guys bowled twice in the roll-off. You came in 41st. There was 62 teams came in 41st, 41st place. You did it again. You came fifth. And all you've done is beat the fourth seed by two pins, won the Second match, a little bit more comfortable, not crazy close. And then again by two pins, Eric, you and Master, 123, second string. Yes, sir, I got very lucky. Fortunately, I was able to carry a double strike with a decent fill on it, which made up a lot of ground for us. And hopefully we can do a little bit of the same here moving forward. And you're blowing the main APH eliminations next weekend too, I believe, right, the eighth seed? Uh, yes, sir, me and uh, actually Dave Kelly over there have made it as well, so hopefully. Uh, I'll number one seed. Hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll get a chance to uh, face him just like this. We covered on Kenneth Moy Network on YouTube next weekend and the Opens weekend after that too. Yes, sir. Good I look luck. Forward to it. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Well, you're making a name for yourself today, Jordan Stackball. For those who don't know you, how'd you get take a beer, buddy? How'd you get started in Kenneth Bowling, and why do you like bowling? I grew up doing it. My father was in a bunch of leagues when I was growing up, so I, when he had a league, I would go and practice. And then I did a few leagues when I was younger, and just started picking it back up this year, actually. You know, if you had a money match, who would win during his peak? Uh, right now, it might be close. It might be close, but I'd you know, give it. Is, to is he watching? Uh, he's in Florida, but he's watching on like. Right, so Canada I don't think he now. heard you. If you had a money match with your father right now, I don't think he heard you. A little bit louder. Who would win that match? I would. Oh. One more time. I would. Okay. You heard it, Dad, right? Money match coming this summer here, at Big Twenty. The Candle Pins for Cancer. Where you're on. All right. Welcome, David Kelly, number one seed in men's APH next weekend. Congratulations. Thank you. You got a great girl in Kelsey Layton. Yeah. I'm she hoping. She was in the first women's doubles event final at Extra Lanes. She's a very good bowler. Yes, she is. Yeah. Got to get to the Sanford Rollups. Yeah. So you guys bowl really well. Yes, we are. It's the best you have had so far in my career. The best thing about today, you only get to bowl three strings. They're bowling 12 strings now, so the fatigue could be a factor. You're bowling for $1,000 for second place, but obviously you want first place, $1,500. Yep, I hope I win. Okay, good luck. Sean Doran, awesome. Candle Pits for Cancer has helped you help your mother out recently. What does Candle Pits for Cancer mean to you personally? It means a lot. Uh, just very nice, very nice, helpful to help out everyone that can get in the man that's bowling. It's just, just a, such a great cause. And you're doing some donations, little donations. What are you doing to help support Candle Pits for Cancer? Oh, uh, yeah. Getting some Paul Grant specials and lemon drop money in there. What's the Paul Grant special for those who don't know what it is? Paul Grant special is if you leave this on this after the second bowl, if you didn't get anything down and you hit it at the next bowl, it's a Paul Grant special. Ten box, right? Okay. Ten All right. Thank you for helping out with that as well. And you're also in the state finals next week too, right? Yep. Yeah, squeezing for the 12th spot in the men's open. Hey, last year Mary Bull was a 12th spot, 11th spot. Christina Dill was a 12th spot. They were in the finals. Yep. Yeah. Made the men's finals last year on lower seat bracket. Won the first match, couldn't get it done the next one, but see if I can do something different this year. All right, good luck today, guys. All right, back to Greg. Thanks so much, Paul. Remember, this is candle pin bowling, the best version of 10 pin bowling. Three balls per frame, and any pins on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. This is also a 95% handicap tournament, so take a look at your screen here. You see we're spotting 16 pins to Mason and Stackpole, so the handicap's actually 60 and 44 because we are averaging 95% to 130 uh, based on the bowler's uh, declared averages. Hey, I want to get away moment two. I gave the <laughs> wrong envelope last match. It was supposed to be $600. I gave I the $1,000 envelope, so I had a want to get away moment. I was I not going to drop you in. I had him in order, and it, it got knocked down. It got flipped over somehow, and I grabbed the wrong one by habit without double-checking it, so my bad. So they got the, they got the $600, so they, they, they appreciated the honesty. But here we go. The finals, the Big 20 in Scarborough made a great place to bowl. And a great place to eat and a full bar as well. Eric Mason. I could have shown some skepticism as well when you mentioned $1,000. My bad, too. <laughs> well, we're doing a lot of things at once on the fly. Ooh. Sean Doran, 78. So sorry, I said Duran in the intro. My bad. It is Doran, but that's all right. It gets Duran a lot, too. Hey, yeah. it happens. Sean Doran. 
Mason at eight to start the first of three string finals on Kenneth and Bowling Network and the WON Sports Television Network. Sean Doran, I call him I call him Duran at first too. And yeah. His mother sent me straight. <laughs> as long as we don't call our C4C colleague Mike Moran. I always try to get it right. Obviously, you're going to make mistakes, and it's mistakes sometimes. It happens, especially in your live stream. Mike Moran, in that case. Yeah, like, yeah, we used to tease Mike Moran, Mike Moran. <laughs> <laughs> I get a kick out of that one. Mike's going to be with us, by the way, June 2nd, the Sanford Rolos mixed step ladder. Can't Individual wait. qualifier rounds, men and women. Register on Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Men and women's individual qualifiers, top five mixed step ladder. June 2nd, the top five live show. The qualifying rounds May 14th, 16th, 18th, 25th, 26th. Register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Make a donation also if you can to the Bowls charity. All right, second box. Check mark for Mason. Five middle, two, four, seven left. Chops out the five. Sean Doran hits two tens. Eric, eight and a seven start. And the handicap difference here, Greg, for the viewing audience again? 16 per string, which you see at the top of your screen there. So that's 16 per string. So 48 overall to overcome in the match for Duran, uh, for Doran and Kelly. <laughs> Strike two. Mason delivers six, one, three, rearrange six. And the 10 left, seven left, rather seven left. Doran, 3-1 split in his own right. Four left, 3-6-10 right. Mason, Audrey Pin wraps around the three. Ooh. There goes the seven somehow. That looked like a spare. Sean Doran, a seven. Um, 27 through, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. My brain's in the future, my mouth's in the future, brain's in the past. Well, I'm right with Mason anyway, nine. That stays firm, 24 through three. Sean bailed me out with a seven. Like I said, 27 through three. Once again, I predicted the future. Never a doubt, Paul. <laughs> great to be working alongside you, and great to have Always. you all along as well on Candleton Bowling Network and watching across the WON uh, Sports uh, Media Network. Local syndication, 30 networks now, which Paul rattled off in detail in the last episode. Great Lemon to have drop. Great to have all these markers. Whoops. Eric's lemon draw king takes about $10 in the candle pins for cancer. That's the six pin on the right, four pin on the left. The cons, of being, the a cons of being a ladder climber. Yep. One dollar for candle pins for cancer, five on a spare strike, 10 on a double strike, optional donation. Doran and splits again. Most balls are good about it. A few get a little tickled about it, but you know. It's optional. Yeah, it's optional, but most people are good about it. We've had eight families so far uh, in the last year, year, less than two years. That's pretty good. Just not alone. Doran, good bid. Got the three. And again, by help families, it's just direct financial assistance to bowlers and their families who need it. Al Johnson's on the lookout for his bowling families that could use the money. So um, it's a little thing that goes a long way. Mason, 1479. Doran, another 10. He's at 37. Eric's at 30 through 4. And the first of three strings, the finals. 95% based on 130 average. Any doubles, Candle Pits for Cancer tournament. And for more information on how you can donate, go to CandlePitsForCancer.com. That's Candlepins the 4 Cancer.com. Donations via demo, a check address on the website as well. And sign up for any roll-offs there in the future. 4-2 split for Doran. Or oh, as Greg likes to say, Duran. You like no. Duran Duran? No, no, no. The oh. group? Oh, God. No, me neither. You know, I hate to when I make a mistake, then it gets in your head, you say it over and over again, like, and you're like oh, darn, I said it wrong five times in a row. Mason, that one got away. His 123 second string keyed their win, you could say. That was an epic double strike. Three strikes and four boxes. He came through for Jordan Stackpole. Jordan carried most of the day. A six. Just a 36 half. Doran a nine, pin well, 46 half. Yep, Update that, from Greg Guillard. That's pinning alone. So Mason and Stackpole had 16, but now that's down to six on pinning alone, and we're only five boxes into this effectively 20 box string in this doubles format. So 96 90, handicap included for Mason and Stackpole, Jordan Stackpole on the right. He's been brilliant all day. Over far right, five up, five down. Dave Kelly, left-hander, 5-2 split. 
He's been better for Maine, as is Kelsey Layton. 104 league ball at 107, his best season inning average. Missed that shot. Kelly, good bid. Wood just missed the 4 7 on the rebound. Dave's high single at 164. Stack hole, it's a nine to start his first string. Kelly gains the 10. And it's a five pin lead. Layton. For Stack pole on the right. I remember Layton from the Exeter doubles. Her ball had a break to it. Kelly sort of has the same delivery to that, though it's more of a break off the hand, if anything, rather than really trying to get the curve late down the lane. Just a nice lady, uh, Kelsey Layton, also. Christy Hopper special the first time. Here's a strike for Kelly! Obliterated the pins. He's all pumped up. As is everyone. The number one seed has the lead now, maybe after this fill. There's a spare for Stackpole. What a shot. What a spare. Don't high five each other too hard. 19 of all through two. These guys have mutual respect for each other. Don't pull an Aaron Fontaine. Ooh, sorry. Pizza, burgers, hot dogs, the grilled chicken, pretzels, a full bar, ice cream sandwiches, a lot more at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. We won. Beautiful ball, but a 2 2 split. 2 4, 6 10. Kelly on a strike. 1 7, 9 10. The fifth seed is in the final. Scott Lapier, the only one to do it in the singles for the men. Winning over $2,700, a main bowler. Stack ball splits the upright, spare. Pinning this out for Kelly is gonna be difficult. Wood might jam it up. Kelly, what a shot, he got it! Unbelievable, wow, what a spare and strike! A big 20 here in Scarborough at the big 20. 30 through two, 40 to ball through three. What a start. I had no doubts at any stage of that. Jordan going for three marks in a row. Spear eight, 27 through two, 37 and a ball through three. Stack pull on the bonus, beautiful ball. Breaks up the eagle. Six, 43 through three. Kelly, pocket shot. Baby 3-1 split. 46 through three. Jordan missed inside. No bonus money against. He's come close a couple of times. Kelly, beautiful shot, beautiful spear. And he's got three marks. You're the first one to get bonus money, $25. Guess we can unseal the envelope now. 56 and the ball through four. Jordan Stackpole, eight. And he's at a 51 through four start. So now Dor Doran and Kelly are making up the gap. They were 16 pins down per the handicap rules, but now they're ahead. Jordan, one, two, four in front, nine in back, wiggling around. Kelly goes right, delivers five. One, two, seven, eight, ten. Bunch formation on the left. That's on a spare again. Ah. Oh, it went off the ceiling of the pin center on the stack pole side. 61 through four. Now he's got the Augusta Main Special, I call it the Sports Center. Mark Carrier's house for Samantha Bryant. Missed a chance, would have been 25 more for another mark. Great bowling center, fast house in Maine. Augusta, Maine, 1710 Sports Center. Old Channel 5, high low jackpot, nice <laughs> out, nine. What a start, 70. And what do you got for his average, Greg? I've got one, I've got. Uh, Dave? I have, I have down as uh, 107. 107, 107, 107. Uh, that's right. 107 has declared. 107, because he's 104, he's 107 the tournament. <coughs> Excuse me, Sean Jordan at a 109 average. And Jordan Stackpole, a 60 half. All done by Dave Kelly, 70 half. Doran, forced from right to 1, yep. 3, 6, 10. I think he lobbed it, unfortunately, so he's going to have to lob. Throw the flag, a lob, doesn't count, a reset. And what a shot, a strike for Mason. Back at it again. They're on fire. After a 36 half, a strike in the six. What a funny game. That's how you break up a bad half. Score corrected for Stackpole, 60 at the half. Oh, oh it's a spare. Yeah. The hard way, that would have been a strike. But he fouled. He's gonna pay $5 for Caleb Spikant. Should be 10. So is that, 
Ooh, so what sort of a special is that? You just, miss just, it on the first and make did, it on the second? Yeah. It's a, well, he, it's a, he did the second try. He's, that's a different Paul Grant special. He <laughs> missed the first, made the second for a strike. He's given $5 for Caleb Fitz for cancer. Just saying, every dollar you guys can donate really goes a long way. So we'll come. that's why we come up with the thinnest of excuses. It's all for a good cause. On the spare, not a strike. Six. Same thing he had before, but that was a foul. This time he did not foul. 62 through six in the first of three. Mason on a strike. Would you believe if Mason's only had the one head pin hit and that was his hammer? <laughs> Unbelievable. Doran, spare bid, not quite. Really How close seven? can you get? Mason, one, three, six, going for a big 20. But got the two on the right, a 19 fill, 19 box. 55 through six, nice bounce back. Neighborhood play on the field, close enough to the head pin. Doran right on for a 10, 72 through seven on Canada Through Bowling Network in the WON Sports, WON Sports Television Network. Mason nine, 64 through seven. Sean, a 109 league bowler to Saco, Maine. He's just 30 years young. 171 high single, high triple 441, high five 637, high 10 of 1185. 1-3-10, makeable spare chance, not easy. Eric Mason, big break, one of the nine. Sean uses 2.7 nice Cobra bowling balls. Six years of Canelton bowling. His mother watching the tennis, a cancer survivor. Canelton's for cancer support of her recently. Mason missed the head pin. Too bad the plank was set in front of the nine. Over a dozen families helped here at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, last year and a half. Done a lot of matches, a lot of fundraisers here. Doran nine, 81 through eight. Mason nine, 73 through eight. With the handicap, it's 195 to 193. Sean's team with Dave Kelly has the two pin lead. Paul's absolutely right, and we keyed in the actual handicaps up there, but he, Paul's absolutely right that it's a two-pin advantage on the string. Of course, 32 pins more of handicap are coming down, and that's why it's 30 for Mason and Stackpole, just based on that. And this makes it much easier next time. When people see this tournament again, Greg, they want to jump on because look how popular this has been. A it's, record 124 bowl of 62 teams. It's a fantastic crowd. They could be bowling instead, for example, but here they are. And Bethany, Bethany Esposito in the deal the deed finished sixth and seventh in their two roll-offs as the alternates today, but everybody showed up. Dorn Sean, another horseman. Mason, 4-2 split, raised the head pin. Friendly fire. Blank is there, at least. Doran takes his time and nails it for a 10. 91 through nine, he used to bowl with Kamrowski Millis. He used to make that shot more than the average pro rate of 36%. So I call that the Kamrowski special that Doran made. Mason negates it with his nine box though. And the, the 11 drop pull actually was started actually rich by the Kamrowski special. We used to put a buck in every time we got a full husband in Millis, the Friday Night Mixed League. And that changed the lemon drop pool when I started doing the streams. The spiritual predecessor. Okay. True story, Doran. Too far right, got the six and 10. Please note that the spiritual predecessor is not an actual show on the WON television network. Mason clips out the 10. Yet. American 95 league bowler out of sight, out of Gorham, Maine. 142 high single, high triple, 363, high five, 534. Both tough sledding here. In the final box of the first of three. The finals. Two two pin matches earlier today. Ooh. Doran, a rare four. four. Ouch. He likes golf, but not in Kennel Pinball. You don't want to get a four. 95, disappointing string. Eric Mason, a seven. Disappointing 89 string for him. Closer to his average, more so than Sean Doran. That foul cost him the Century Club. Five bucks to go in the first. Although he did, in fairness, have six on the first ball following that, so <laughs> would have lost four pins on the if it were a strike fill instead. Come on! Thank you, Three. Linda Trotz. I want to thank you for doing the 50-50 raffle today and selling the shirts and hats for us. You're all very welcome. Hope to see you at karaoke sometime. Absolutely. All right. The bride-to-be in December. All right. 
Linda donated $500 for her company last season by Kennel Fitz for Cancer, doing it again this year. She volunteers 40 hours outside of work, and after you do 40 hours of community service, not that you did anything wrong, they give her the charity of her choice. She picked Kennel Fitz for Cancer. So that was a karaoke gig I did with her. And that led to the Kennel Fitz for Cancer donation. So thank you, Linda Sargent, now Linda Tarasi, soon to be Linda Dubois, D-U-B-O-I-S, in December. All right, Greg. 79 for Kelly, uh, correction, 78 through six. Jordan Stackpole, 70 through six. Both had a strong half. Yeah, slim margins in the string because Doran and Kelly have mostly made up the handicap at this point. Two pin lead the match, nine drop there for Stackpole. Him and Eric Maseman strike machines today. Kelly, got it, nice shot. That just vaporized. Give him a spare, 88 in the ball through seven. Okay, I will. Ooh. Stack hole gets Stack it as well. Gets also. Gerard, thanks for helping us out with the 50 50 raffle. Du Dubois, right? Okay. All right, you, got a, you picked a nice lady there. December wedding, right? All right. December 4th. Thank you very much. Appreciate the help. All right. Didn't have time to set another mic. Sorry, Paul. That's right, Kelly. One, two, four, seven on the spare. Stack pole spare is a 3 2 split. 5, 85 through 7. Kelly, 94 through 7. Missed left. Ooh, came back. Stack pole missed everything. Hung up in the hand, unfortunately, so the release timing was a little late. Kelly, 10. What a string. 104 through 8 for the 107 league bowler. Stack pole, nice out. 8. At the looking of a 10. 93 through eight, two strings after this. $1,500 for the winners to split. $1,000, not 600. The runner ups. <laughs> Look at the right envelope this time. We got you. Uh, something always goes wrong. Kelly, six, one, two, four, seven. Let Sean Doran make this shot. Stackpole, right in the nose. Um, so Ooh, that's again. three, four, six, eight, ten. Good luck with that. Left-handed for a spare. Missed inside again. No bounce back. Stack pull. Ooh. Oh, what a bid. That's the thanks you get, I suppose. Kelly a nine. One, 13 through nine. Jordan Stackpole steals with the wood for a 10. 103 through nine, another good string by Jordan Stackpole. The fifth seed with Eric Mason trying to climb the ladder. Strange game, sometimes you get three for three on the object pins and you get a 10 box and you go 0 for three on the object pins and you get a nine box. Boy, the, the first match and the third match could have gone either way. Kelly, beautiful ball, but it's a setback oh, shot. Five, no. six, 10. Jordan slipped right, lost his balance, six, nine, 10, go down. That's happened to Jordan a few times, just slipping off to the right. Stack pole, three down. Kelly, three up. Again, Jordan is going to be above average. Kelly, obviously. He's the is. wood. Oh, try to edge that wood. I don't know if it would have gone anyway. Now I'll go for the short two. Jordan missed left. One and the three. Dave needed a sort of crazy ricochet like that. Kelly gets one for now. How about a 121 opening string for Dave Kelly? Jordan a nine, a nice string again, 112. The score of the first string, Greg. And after one string, we have uh, 249 to two, well, 249 to 216. The gap is one in this string. And we will be right back with string number two in just a moment. Did we really say third of three this whole time? Good grief. <sighs> Good to have you all here. We're just gonna get set here and reset the scoreboard. Uh, just a moment, I'm just gonna do one more thing. You could do promotions too. Uh, yeah, which one do you wanna read? Do you want me to read one coming out? Yeah. Do the Canopins cancel one last. Uh, number one then? Yeah. Are we ready to go? Yep. Welcome back, everybody. One more Candlepin action. You've got it. WON Sports is very happy to announce that we have come to an agreement and have partnered with Candlepin Corner to broadcast and syndicate Candlepin Corner's skins, powered by Lita Lanes across the WON television network starting this May. Eric Mason gets underway. He's got on the two pin here and has four out. 
Greg Guiar alongside Paul Grant in just a moment. John Doran has a wiggling pin there, got a nine drop. How close can you get to a strike? Middle string underway, the finals. Mason, what a shot, just missed the seven. That pin is still shooken up like Elvis Presley. I'm all shook up. Missed it. If the pin drops while the second ball is on its way, it counts as a spare, not a strike by ICBA rule. Mason joints it. Oh, it came back. Huh. Came down for landing. By ICBA rule, once you hit a pin on the plate, it's fair no matter what happens afterwards. That's a 10. Doran spins around. Didn't want to get it. He didn't want to pay the Paul Grant special one dollar for missing the second shot, and making the third. And by ICBA rule, a downed pin that stands up uh, counts as down. But there is a rule, older version of the rule book that came out after we had that somersaulting pin at the Pro Series that said, "No, a pin that somersaults is still up. Sorry, you got hosed." <laughs> so, bit of a, either a mistranslation or maybe a different rule, but it was universally deemed as down when Danny Harris did it. But it's interesting how. There really is a lost history to candlepin bowling that here at CBN, we're trying to get back. <laughs> Eric Mason, one, three, six, ten, four husband right. Second box, second string, big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Jordan, another, ha uh, I call it a Rick Kimrowski special Millis, the four husband. And it's great to have uh, more bowling coverage up in Maine. Of course, they've had Candlepin shows before, but there's such a dearth of it. For right. example, the fact that the late great Charles Milan III has such little video coverage of him on YouTube, uh, for example, of just YouTube archives of his matches is borderline criminal, you know? Hall yeah. of Famer. I'll be up for the next two weekends in Maine, APH next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, live coverage on YouTube, Candlepin Network, including the 10-string final on Sunday. And the weekend after that's the Maine State Opens. Yeah. We, mostly Paul Grant, let's be honest here, you uh, put, the effort you put in is tremendous, are doing our best. Doran, another yeah. one goes. Yeah, nice. Boy, him and Rick Kierowski have a, need to have a full horseman contest. 19 the ball through two. Rick and Millis, a 70 year older, one of the most clutch bowlers, league bowlers I've seen in my lifetime as a regular league bowler, borderline pro. Wasn't a pro league in a Wednesday pro league for years. He had around 117, 118 averages in high years. Eric, two tens, 20 through two in the middle string. So Doran and Kelly just about made up the handicap in the first string. Let's see how they do in the second. Eric on the nose, banana split. Where's Casey McCool? Loves the banana splits out of Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, he's spoken up a non-zero number of times. Take my word for it. Doran on the bonus, right Ooh. down the middle, spread eagle, plus the eight, gives it a thumbs up sarcastically. A three fill, 22 through two. Mason trying to work some magic, won't go. A lot of bowlers seem keen on letting the pins know that they're number one. Doran going three into four. Oh, oh five, a nice shot. Two in the eight. About the best you can do there. Mason gets the 10. Three tens. Pretty good start. Perfect game in Candlepin, 10 spares and strike. Oh, that seems not easy to make. The two in the eight, always easier than the first ball. After a spare three, 22 through two, 10, 32 through three, in the second of three. <laughs> we, we do have Casey in chat. <laughs> he chimed in. We see you all in chat here. We haven't been getting to that as often here on our TV show, but it's great to have you all liking and commenting. Boy, really if, appreciate if the you support. Missed the first, if you missed the, the first match or the third match, you got to watch them, folks. Two great matches right down to the last box in the last ball. This is gonna keep mixing, so it's literally the middle two rows gone for Doran. Doran's got the picket fence in the back, head pin in front. Mason for a spare, too far right, three in the seven. Not sure the cap would have been useful anyway. Three pieces of wood behind the one. Oh, sorry, that's in front. No, I could have had Off a chance. Off you see this leaf. Oh, what a try. He's got the Queen Borg, the Star Trek character, seven of nine. I don't even know a Star Trek, I'm not even a Star Trek fan, and I know that, what, what, who that is. Please, it's the only character he knows. Jerry Ryan. By the way, that's 10 again for Mason. And Sean gets a pretty 10. 42 through four, Eric 40 through four. The finals on Candlepin Bowling Network and WON Sports Television Network, executive producer at WON Sports New York, Jonathan Rios. Thank you for helping us out, John. Thanks, Jonathan. And yeah. Bob Lee, executive producer for Candlepin Bowling Network. On YouTube, over 1,000 videos. Hit the subscribe button, always free. Great semi pro to pro action. Including Atlantic Kennelton single store, single store A, B, C, and D division. 
Mason one of the nine. Whoops. Doran only two of the four seven. Overthrown. The littlest timing deviation in this game can produce such different results. As Mike Gagnon goes down now, possible Deadwood check. This is lined just a few feet in front of the pin plate, and if the pin is touching it, it has to be removed, which it is. So Eric will have to shoot at this 1 9. Mason getting set here at the line, taking a little bit of extra time. Remember, he's got 40 through 4, 4 or 10 boxes. Just missed left. Uh, it'll be tricky to get 10 this time, though. Boy, a big shot to the big 20 bowlers here. They've been terrific. We had a two, three or four dozen people watching. <coughs> and a lot of people are still here for the finals. Sean, great bid there. Falls short of the eight. Mason, eight box, 48 half. His only blemish. Four tens and eight. Solid pinning. Get your nines and tens. The marks will generally follow. Yeah. Sean Dorn at 10. A yep. solid 52 up. The spare three lowered his score. He has only one pin left in the deck and nine box. I was about to the say. First three tens in a row after the spare three. Isn't that ironic? I was going on and on about, oh, Mason's got 10 boxes all the way down. Actually, Doran just kept that one pin, only one pin left standing. Doran right. Stackpole and Dave Kelly. It's time their second string. Dave Kelly at a 121 first. Jordan Stackpole, 113 first. Off to the right, off the wall, just four. Dave Kelly, right in the nose, strike! Yeah. Number two. This guy, these guys are good. Dave Kelly, the only one with bonus money for that three marks in a row, $25. Excellent effort for, effort, excellent effort for Stackpole, don't go. Still waiting for a $100 strike challenge winner as well. Jordan's waiting for the wood to settle. By rule, now it takes aim. He'll use the wood, and on the third ball, actually it shoots in front there, so eight box it is. All right, so second string of three, $1,000 for the runner-up, $1,500 for the winning team to split. And after the match, stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge. Each bowler will throw one ball each for $100, so they get a strike. It's Eric Mason. And Jordan Stackpole have had three chances already to get a fourth crack at it. Eric had nine drop one time in the first match. No one said it today. Madison Kelly Ryder, the only one that did it twice. No one else has gotten it. Jordan just missed a nine for a spare. Good bid. It is simply Madison Ryder at this point, right? Yeah. It used to be Madison Kelly at the time. Nice yeah. shot for Kelly. Spare. No a relation. big 20 again at the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. 20 through one. 30 and a ball through two. No relation. Back pole nine, 17 through two in the second of three. Every Friday and Saturday night, it's time to rock and bowl at the Big 20. Just $13 a person, two hours, glow bowling and music. Bring your friends and family, shoes included, $13 a person every Friday and Saturday night, 6 to 10 p.m., where it's time to rock and bowl at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine on Route 1. Jordan three. Kelly oh. pounds the strike zone, but a 3-1 split. Two, four, seven to the right is the six. 36, his first two. High crossover side. <laughs> Kelly trying to kick it over too far left that time. Tonight, bonus money. He's winning that bonus money, Greg, right? That's right, that's $25. Doinks it. Seven, stack pole and eight. Yeah, the Jordan Stackpole show is starting to wear off a little bit here, but you have got to see his legendary performances earlier. This is their 11th string today. Yeah. And Maine does a lot of 10-string tournaments, too, by the way, the States. Yeah. And again, 112. That's above average, too, for Jordan. What a shot. Eight. Six right, nine left. Thought he had a strike. There we go. David Kelly. Five up, five down. He's got a, they call it the hay bale. Some call it. Some call it a diamond of the seven or a pack of five. You make the call. Oh, oh he got it barely. A gentleman's spare. I don't care how. The stack pole show is back on the air, Smile folks. Smile on his face. 35 and a ball through four for a slow start. Kelly can't connect. Two, five, eight. Yeah, 
Kelly, one for an eight. 51 through four. Six marks already for Dave Kelly. Jordan Stackpole, middle part of the match. A Christy Hapworth special again in Maine. Kelly spins seven, four, seven, eight triangle. Class A ball is 45% the going rate to convert. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network. Stackpole threw it too far right. Thanks, Bob Lee. I meant for the statistic, not for throwing it right. Though that is the sort of shot where Bob would just hold his hand up to have us just like, what am I doing? Great executive producer and one of the most expressive bowlers on the lanes. Boy, I love the pretzels here at the Big 20. This is my breakfast, finally. Kelly, that won't go. Wood robbed him. Yeah, just no way. Greg, promo up this if we could, please. Yeah. Jordan, two for an eight. Jordan Stackpole, 48 half. Dave Kelly, a nine. An excellent 60 half. Had a 70 half in the first. Halfway through the finals. There we Greg, go. We are. There we go. WON Television Network is proud to bring you another horror movie showcase program. Monster Movie Night is a hosted horror movie show with Bobby Gamonster and Boris Buzzard presenting horror movies via the internet since 2011. Coming this May to the WON Television Network, check your local listings for station, day, and time. Ouch. Second half of the match of the finals underway. Sean Doran, blisters eight, two in the five, spare chance. Eric Mason looking for strikes, seven, maybe more, eight, make it nine, leaves up the two. I go on and on about the, the Stackpole show, but Eric Mason's middle string in that last match. Dorn for a spare, missed it right, not happy with that shot. Mason for a spare, he got it. 58, the ball through six. Close to a lob, I had a look over at Mike, but it's a fair, fair and a spare. Wasn't there for Sean, nine, 61 through six. What's the match total right now, Greg? Uh, right now the match total, so Mason has is a one pin plus uh, this bonus ball here. So essentially they're making up more than a handicap at this current point. So Mason and Stackpole are ahead at this moment in time. Only just, but they are ahead by basically this mark. Sean Dorn. The Green Eagle. Paul, don't forget about this. Mason, 4-2 split. Four on that mark, though. This is getting, this is getting good here. Oh, what a try. Ooh, just missed the three. Two, four, six, ten, did go. Eric Mason, beautiful shot, just missed a seven for a spare. Happy to have those pins though. Doran and Kelly have made up 11 on pinning alone. Sean takes a nine, 70 through seven at the minimum. Eric too far right for a nine. After a spare four, 62 through six, 71 through seven. And too far over as well. Promo. Superwoman returns to WON, part of Super May. Linda Hines returns as the Woman of Steel in two upcoming film presentations that puts her face to face with some of the most disturbing and deadly foes. Don't miss Superwoman 14, Unbound, and Superwoman 15, Licensed to Kill, both coming this May to the WON Cinema YouTube channel and the WON Television Network. Thanks, Greg, we are. Eric Mason crossing over, takes down nine, six pin for a spare. It's okay, Mason, you could have struck, I was done reading. Sean Doran feeling crowd of Pawnee's pain. Crowd was excellent, but he hit the head pin so many times, too many splits, about a dozen splits. Yeah. The three seed ousted by the fifth seed. And they've done it to everybody so far today. Now in the finals, first spare, no. Dan Altaricio wasn't safe from that split luck either. Doran splits the uprights for a 10, 80 through eight. Quality 10. Eric, that's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third, 10, 81 through eight. And Greg, what's the Paul Grant special for those who don't know it? Missed the second, make the third. I missed so many shots by a snitch, and I'm making the third shot. I killed all the time. Killed Never a good time for that. Is there ever? Mm-mm. Sean Doran, right side, five. 
early release. Getting frustrated. Mason on the oh. nose. Two one split. Hit it high, uh, high and across. Otherwise, that had a chance. Mason has been generally good on the head pin, despite only the one spare. Doran's got rolling wood, has to wait. Mike Gagnon will see to it. Our match referee, lob line judge. Doran for a spare up the wall. No, just missed a four. Tough break. Great try by a very good young bowler on the rise. Eric, right in the same spot. Sean, nine. 89 through nine, Mason the channel, no good. That's a seven, 88 through nine. Even if you're an open bowler, just play that the gutter balls don't count, simple as that. Oh, sorry, channel ball. Thanks for a better game that way, even though it's technically a harsh rule and the pins are already harsh as it is. Tough leap for Doran again. Though I was a kid who didn't know the rule, and I tried to throw a gutter ball even though the bumpers were up. That didn't get very far. Oh it, look at this leaf. Well, you domino the two and the four, but triangle and the seven, not going to be easy. You could go left in that wood, you took that middle wood to the right corner. Let's see how I place it. That's how I try to play it. Sean going to grind the first two strings. Mason trying to do it, and does, and almost got it. Got the memo, Ooh. but the six pin would not go. So he got the back row pins, the seven, nine, ten. Doran big out, gets an eight. 95 first, 97 second string. They need more to win the championship, more than likely. Not often you get a ball retrieval in the before the third ball, but that, that was coming back at a great rate of speed. It might have actually hopped the gutter threshold. I wish you had a rule if you got the ball return like that, you get an extra ball to throw. Just saying, it won't happen, but you know. Isn't that Pong rules? <laughs> I don't drink, so I don't know. <laughs> Nine, never like the taste. You never, never give it to the pair of pressure. Play responsibly and play better games. <laughs> Eric Mason, 97 with a nine box. He had, what do you have, 99 first, 99, 97 second, 98 average. Eric Mason. That's right. Which again, is above his average and below Sean Doran's at oh, 105. So, so right now it's a four pin lead in the match. For Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole on the left. David Kelly, perfect shot, spread eagle. Stack pole, nice ball, nine. Whittling eight, wants to go, will not. Kelly, tough leave, what a try. Two in the 10. For class A balls, only 1% they convert. Spread eagles, stats by Kenneth from Bowling Network. Spare for Jordan Stack pole. 58, the ball through six, eight for Kelly. Days at 68 through six. Kelly had that strike spare, but he easily could have a lot more the way he's bowling. It's, the, quite, it's the, quite impressive for the number one seed. The fifth seed to the first doubles partners to win a whole step ladder series from five to one. <laughs> Kelly, beautiful ball, but a two, one, one split. Oof down. Jordan on the bonus, thin hit, just four. Spear five, now a spear, earlier, now a spear four, 62 through six in the second of three. Kelly, want to go further left. Jordan trying to work out of this jam. Look at this lead, wow. Hit the two on the left. Kelly gets a 10 box, yes. 78 through seven, a tough six for Stackpole. Hmm. Negating that spare four, that's a Paul Granville. Spare four to six box, a 20 the hard way. 68 through seven, late in the second of three strings. If there's a tie after three strings, a one string roll off, and they're all one string overtime, no two box roll off on a second overtime. They're all one string overtime matches. Haven't had one yet, we've been close. How about the women's one? With Sonia Johnson and Sharon Britton, a one pin difference on Kenneth and Bowling Network on YouTube, and Sonya Johnson thought she lost the match. Meanwhile, Death Taxes and Dave Kelly splitting again. Kelly in the middle. 
Jordan. Nice effort. Davis 7, 85 to 8, just 25 after that 60 half to start. Stack pole 9, 77 through 8, two blocks to go on the middle string. The match lead right now is 8 for Stack pole and Mason on the left. No marks on the board. Yep, 8 marks to 7 overall in the match. Thanks to Mike Yagnon, refereeing, lob line judge. Hasn't thrown anybody out yet. <laughs> Strike bid, almost. I refereed soccer. I could get my red card out. He also donated $30 to Canopus for Cancer. Mike Yagnon, thank you very much, Mike. Oh, man. Volunteering his time. Thought it would be a worse split for Stackpole. He had that been very full. Helicopter in flight for Stackpole, 4 in the 10. Kelly has a great chance here on lane 5 in Scarborough. Mm -hmm. Spare. 95 in the ball through 9. Jordan for a spare, trying to kick it over. Not enough on it. I suppose he hit the wood from behind, got the scorpion tail kick, and just wasn't sure how it was supposed to get across, even if he hit the front wood. Jordan keeps it on for a 10. 87 through 9, final box of the middle string. And that's where Jordan's motion falling off to the right is actually quite helpful to pick off those corner 10 pins. Thank you, sir. Hundreds of dollars raised for candle pins for cancer today. Thank you very much, folks here at the Big 20. Always generous, always giving. Always a good time. Kelly in the head pin, trying to will down more. Eight, two in the 10. Wood in decent position on the bonus. 103 through nine, over his average again. Jordan Stackpole having a great day. One, two, seven, eight on lane four at the big 20. Kelly's only missed one or maybe two head pins all strength. Jordan got it to go. What a shot, wow. Spare, back to back. The wood was there, it didn't go straight on, but it was perfect. Jordan, head pin it, won't go, two in the seven. Now Dave will need a strike on spare to win three marks in a row, again for the second time. He had three in a row in the first. Yes, that's right, on this show, a 10 fill on a mark does count in the 10th, for three marks in a row, I should say. Jack pull, field goal for an eight. Eric Mason puts up the two hands. <laughs> 95, unusual low string for him. 112, first, 95 second, 207 scratch. And again, Doran and Kelly are going to negate the handicap. Dave Kelly at a 121 first. Going for a strike for three in a row. Just four. Maybe five. It's four. Hmm. He's trying to blow him down. 117. Excellent string for the 107 league bowler. 238 scratch through two. The total scores, Greg, before we take a break. That's right. Currently, the scores are 513 to 518. Or so Sean Doran, Dave Kelly lead by five, right? Yep. That's right. I will check in on that, and we will be right back with string number three in just a moment. Let me make absolutely certain that I get this for you all out there. Thank you so much out there on Candlepin Bowling Network. You've been a great crowd all day today. We're going to go down the home stretch, string three of three in just a moment. We are in for a good one. And the gap is 11 in favor there. That's what, 573 to 562. So it's five after two strings. Yep. Now the handicap I'm just making sure, 573, 562, the gap is 11. Okay, ready to start? Yep. So six pin handicap difference, so 11 pin lead officially, including the handicap already in for the third string and final string of the match. Welcome back everybody, Eric Mason and Sean Doran to take us out in string number three. Paul Grant, Greg Guyar on Canopin Bowling Network and later on on the WON Sports Television Network. Doran five. Mason, tough leave, give it a crack. Doran just, oh, he got it. Thought he nope. missed that pin, but he did, couldn't get the two pin to go. Mason gets a nine to start the final string of the match. The way it's going today, you never know. We've had two two-string matches already. Doran gets a 10. Mason a nine. 
Be sure to join us for the next Candlepins for Cancer event as Candlepin Bowling Network will bring, bring you coverage of the Mixed Doubles Stepladder live from Bolarama in Sanford, Maine. Tune in Sunday, June 2nd, starting at 11 a.m. on Candlepin Bowling Network and seen later on the WON Television Network. As a lemon drop, Eric Macy's owns a lemon drop today. Another doll for Candlepins for Cancer. Qualifying rounds are on Candlepins number four, Cancer.com. Men's and women's individual qualifiers like last year. Then we'll take the top five men and women's scores for the step out of June 2nd with Mike Moore and Greg Riar and myself on Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube in high definition. Always free, never a charge. Hit the subscribe button. Canopy Bowling Network on YouTube. Over 1,000 videos and climbing. Doran, 3 1 split, nothing there. Mason, a 6. 15 through 2. Not the start he wants. They're trying to go all the way to the top of the ladder. Doran gets three oh. of the four again. The seven does not go the right side, does. He gains the nine, 19 to 15 in the string. And with the handicap included, the match lead is 508 to 501. Yep. Sean's seven. team is down seven. Seven pins in favor of Mason Stackpole, but Doran and Kelly have been making up the handicap every string. They got the higher averages too. Right. But Mason's has some big strings and Jordan Stackpole has been tremendous most of the day. Doran, pocket shot. Will's down eight. Two and a four. Spare chance. Mason for a spare. Got it! Two pin goes last. A fist pump. After a slugger start, 25 and a ball through three in the third. Doran missed that chance. A couple of those where he's over pulled it. Another cheering him on, a cancer survivor. Yep. Helped by Candle Pins for Cancer. Dorrance been the best pinning, pinner of the four. It's the 10, case in point. 29 through 3 on Candle Pins Bowling Network. Averaging above 9 in every no marked frame. Though Sanford, we've got to clear that wood there, Mike. Uh, slight delay, clear the wood out of the channel. The Candle Pins for Cancer roll us, by the way. Men's and women's yeah. individual qualifiers. Tuesday, May 14th, Thursday, May 16th, 3 p.m. Saturday, May 18th, 2.30 and 5.30 p.m. because they have global on the 12 to 2 at San Francisco in Maine. Yeah. The following Memorial Day weekend, Saturday, 2.30 and 5.30, and Sunday, May 26th, 12 noon and 3 p.m. Register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. That's Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Top five live shows Greg alluded to. Sunday, June 2nd, 11 a.m. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Work, work, work. England Dragway commercial. And we don't up. mean banana split either. Eric, one, seven, nine, ten. Difficult leave. Six count. That's on a bonus. 31 through three. Doran, just four. And body language is not good. Mason hits the clean. One, seven, ten. The Augusta, Maine special. Yeah. Great name for a bowling center in Augusta, Maine. Owned by Mark Carrier. But a lousy leave for a bowler. Doran, he's at the one and the nine. Now the nine goes. It's a very Wood coming back barely. Not enough steam on it. And what a shot! <laughs> a big that would have been a, a big jackpot on Channel Five back then. But Don Gillis, Hall of Famer, 29 through three. If you like your one seven tens, clip that, please. Doran 10, 39 through four. And that was the highest rated show. It had higher ratings than the Celtics and the Patriots, Red Sox and the Patriots combined, something like that. Celtics and the Red Sox combined back then. That's how big Kenneth and Bowling was back then. Every Saturday afternoon at the time, yeah. Noon, usually, 11 o'clock during the football season. Eric Mason, four in that ball. Often imitated, never duplicated, that's for sure. But we're trying. And this handicap show is bringing out a great crowd here. Doran, nice ball for strike. Oh, what was Come on that? Down. No. There is wood there. Mason, one, six, ten. Go for the short two on the right. Or you pull like me, you don't make it be mine last second, you throw in the middle. Well, we did have an aggressive out with Jordan earlier. For a spare, gets it! 51, of correction, 49, the ball through five for Sean Doran. Mason getting greedy for all three, get one. Didn't work out this time for the 49 duo. 49 through five. In that situation, you go for the short two, but he, He's been bowling confidently the last couple of matches. Yep, gap is 11 still for Mason and Stackpole right here, although Doran is going to subtract from that when he gets up next. It's a virtual single pin lead for, for the average pro, Mark. 
Based on Bob Lee's research on cannibal bowling network, 6.5 on spares for Class A bowlers, 8.3 on strikes. Sudden the final string, Jordan Stackpole in the fifth spot. In the finals, Domino's eight, seven to eight. Wood rolling around. Not friendly Wood. Dave Kelly, a 5-2 split. Has a 121 and a 117. Jordan Stackpole, 112 and a rare 95. Thanks, Jim and Chafford, catching a graphical error. We appreciate your feedback. That's where we get better. And Dave Kelly, same spot. Ouch. Paying attention is the first line of defense, but Jordan, nobody's no perfect. Good. Nine. Sorry, Greg. And it didn't drop anyway. Kelly, big out here. And he gets a six. Tough start to start the final string of the match. Overtime if we tie. Mike Yagnon, lob line official referee today, doing a great job. Stackpole on the nose, 2 1 split. Was he ever? Good to see him. Kelly in the pocket. 6 10, great chance here. Above the Candlepins for Cancel logo. Both ballers Candle. on the head pin, you'll love to see it. Candlepin Hall of Famer Steve Reno Sr. made the logo. Stackpole above the W O N Sports banner. 2 in the 6. Kelly up the wall, no. Oh. <laughs> Sean Doran with a head desk. Correct reaction, that was a good shot. Jordan gets one for nine. Here are nines to start the final string. Kelly in the channel, nine. Just 15 through two. No marks, actually one mark for Sean Doran. Dave Kelly's teammate, right now they're down in the match. It's close. Jordan right in the pocket, a little too full though. Another 2-1 split, getting frustrated now. Yep, three straight. Kelly on the head pin, he's got a 3-1 split. All of a sudden it's Punch City here in Scarborough. Pins have been hopping pretty good today. Too far left. Status quo benefits Mason and Stackpole, although Doran has a mark hanging. Stackpole. We have the potential of a ladder climber. Sorry, Greg, two in the six for Stackpole. Kelly, two in the six also. Which one do you like better, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit the button, thanks. <laughs> nine for Jordan. Kelly, same thing, nine. Good pinning. Jordan, 36. Dave Kelly, 33 through four. If you miss early reaction today, watch it later on YouTube on Canop and Bowling Network. Scores are correct as we have it, yep. 14 pins. Jordan, four. $1,000 to split for the runner-up, $1,500 for the first place team. Pocket shot, eight, seven and nine for Dave Kelly. Just missed inside, Sean one got, to seven. John got up to inspect this shot. Left side of the red line, perhaps? Want that ball to shoot across, that's certainly it. Going for ricochet here, good effort. And on the seven pin, Stackpole will get a nine again. Kelly matches a nine. We're in a rut. Coming up on the halfway point of the final string of the match. Excellent match, excellent crowd all day. Ooh, ouch. Selling candle pins for cancer shirts here and hats with the new candle pins for cancer logo. Get them wherever Paul Grant streams. Doing business on the fly here. Stackpole, 5-8. Kelly, 3-2 and two split. Third straight split for Kelly. So both Stackpole and Kelly with three straight punches. Jordan lost his balance there. Another big 20 ball. Just bought a Candle Pins for Cancer shirt. Thanks to Kim Baker for making those shirts. Kelly, Ooh. what a try. Tricky dribbles beyond the 4-7. What a try. What had a chance as it spun across? Jordan gets a 10. Is that the Paul Grant special? Mr. the second make the third? Uh, yes. Why, yes it is. 46 half. 
Dave Kelly at 8, 41 and a half. Halfway through the final string, let's get an update from the soothing sounds of Greg Gouillard. Yeah, it's 16 pins still in the Mason and Stackpole's column right here, so all the marks have been drying up. Sean Dorn has a spare. He could get cut to six with a strike and potentially take the lead. Yeah, strike would be instant gratification. Jordan Stackpole has my award for best teammate award, just always clapping, always encouraging Eric Mason to stay in it. Even though it's a long grind, this is their 12th string of the day. And just the third string today for the number one seed, Sean Dorn and Dave Kelly. Sometimes when you blow a lot, you get more than rhythm. I think so. I'd feel sorry for whoever faces Eric and Jordan next. For a spare, almost. He's made a bunch of these already. Mason parallel pins. He got it. What a shot for a spare. And Mason's pumped up too. Sean, 10 after a spare, six, 55 half, 10, 65 through six. Eric Mason, 59 of the ball through six. I'm not familiar with how much Mason and Stackpole have bowled together, but the synergy is obvious between the two of them. They're just so good at rallying each other. You know, amping up your teammates is an art form in this game, and it does have an impact, even though there's only one bowler at a time on the lanes per team, of course. Sean Doran trying to get a mark again. Eight. Ooh. That looked like a strike ball, Greg, didn't it? Five right, eight left. Wood in front, still rolling. Eric Mason, big bonus ball through the channel. He had a struggle to earlier to hit a zero box. Came back with a spare five. A spare two, then a five box, but they survived. And then he got a big 123 middle string. It's a chance match. It's a chance missed, but they're still, they're still ahead. So it's like a 10 box. Doran, that won't go, will it? Oh, it just rolled in front of the eight. Makes it second ball, leaves at the one, two, four. So 59 through six, still there. Doran, nine, 74 through seven, still looking to get his average of 107. Two nut strings of 90 so far. Eric Mason frustrated, a seven. There goes your, your cheerleader, Stackpole, cheering him on. You got it. That's what you got to do, root your teammate on. Yeah. 66 through seven. Keys to just get the ball there. Eight box to go in the match, unless we have overtime. Sorry, get, get the ball out there further on the lane. Not over the lob line, it's strictly enforced today, that 10 foot line you see on screen. Baker's doesn't lead for Mason's team on the left. Doran had been hit, another split. Two, four in the 10. Wood's not aimed the right way, unfortunately. Mason goes left, he gets four. A center diamond plus the 6'10 right. It's not a bad leave, all told. Had four terrific matches today, Greg. Ain't that the truth? Jordan, oh, whoa, whoa, how did not go? Yeah, what was, an offer. Well, the pins would say, accepted. well, no, the wood was aimed towards the curtain, but, you know, <laughs> the pins are butts. Let's be real. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Greg. I, I could go on so many dogmatic rants. Not about my. Mason, not an easy leave. One, three, six. Nearer, and he is clipping pins every ball. Trying, trying to get the 10 pin for a 10 box. The other guy's not getting more than the 10, just stick with it. In the channel, nine. Though Sean has been really good at pinning all day, that said. And not getting the marks like he usually does. 83 through eight. Eric in eight. 74 through eight. Quick update from Greg Guillard on yeah. the match. Match margin is seven now, so one at a time is technically fast enough for Doran and Kelly to make up the gap. The handicap of 16 pins per that they've been, uh, that Mason and Stackpole have been spotted. Doran looking for a mark. Oh Three on two, strike. Whoa, power ball. Mason for a strike, head pin it, two, two split. Sean Doran's like, see how I feel? Crowd of Pony's like, how can I get those too? You know? <laughs> Crowd a tough cut truck. I'll take Carlos team could have won that match. They had so many splits. Why not? Eric dismissed right. His wife Mary Bullard cheering him on. Love to hear it. Eric eighth in the APH eliminations next weekend. Live coverage on Canop and Bowling Network on YouTube from Parsons Field, Maine. At Archie Strike and Spare. Named after his dog, Archie. And you notice that nobody's cheering against anyone, you know. Yep. It's uh, Everyone understands the difficulty of the game. Everyone stood here, and all of you watching out there it's on Candlepin Bowling it's Network. A very mature crowd here in Maine. And WON. 81 through 9 for Eric, and now Doran can give his team the lead on the bonus. Probably will. For the lead, only three. Another ball, though. 
First ball on the strike, though. You're right. They're down four, Greg, right? Coming in. Four, not including the fill. They're down. So second ball to take the lead. Trying to clean it up. Ooh. A six fill. They take the lead. Nine's a wild. 99 through nine. Mason, a bundle of six. Number one C trying to his last take box. The ladder climber. Doran, nice out. Big nine. 108. Final string. Eric, great out. Nine. What a way to finish your 120th nine box. Five boxes to go in this championship match. $1,500 for the winners, $1,000 for the runner ups. Stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge after the interviews. Update from Greg Guillard. It's a two pin lead, right, Greg? Uh, two pins I have as well in favor of Doran and Kelly. Two pin lead. We had two two pin minute matches earlier. Kelly off to the right three. His team hang on to a slim two pin lead. Stat pole's been great most of the day. Really could come down to the penny. Steal six. Kelly, good try. The setback. And that wooden between the one and two could be a roadblock. Yeah, very liable to deflect the ball away, like you're saying, Paul. For a spare. No. Yep. Wood got in the way like we predicted. Mm hmm Big pinch for Kelly. A wiggle on the five won't go. A nine. 59 through six. Correction, 50 through six. Stackpole. Good gains. 10. A 10. 56 through six. Four box to go. It's a one pin lead. See why we take the pinning so seriously, folks? Every pin counts. Never, ever throw a ball away. Never check out. You never know. White on the western front here in Scarborough, Maine. Kelly for strike, eight, maybe nine, it is. Seven pin left up. Stack pull, four two split, advantage Kelly. It's interesting, Jordan's sliding to the right but throwing to the left. It's been effective today. Dave Kelly with a big opportunity now. Kelly for a spare, bang! 16 of all through seven. First mark of the string. Couldn't have picked a better time. Stack pole, the Augusta Main special again, the 1710. Great place to bowl, too. Seen a mate already. Trying to get a couple. Even better, all three. We've seen two of those go down. Nice. Big pins. 66 through seven. Three boxes to go. One pin lead, plus a ball here from Dave Kelly. But the WON Sports banner. Lane five and beautiful big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. What a job they do here. Mike Walker, his brother, Leslie Walker. I love the brown motif of the masking unit, but thanks for letting us hang the two banners. Very proud to bring you this show here. Shiny and clean. On the bonus, eight, nine. Huge development. 69 through seven. Stackpole, eight, oh. nine. Eight pin left up. Oh, well, look at that wood, though. I'm not convinced it's any good, though. Kind of like a T or V-shaped wood could be a problem. Yeah, diagonal slant in front of the yep. eight pin. Back left to front right. I'll get to that in a second. Crucial shot for Kelly. Right on it. Spin back to back. It seemed like just a matter of time the way Dave's been throwing it. He got it to go. Stack pull. Spin the match. Two bucks to go. Instant classic. Kelly 69 through seven. 79 the ball through eight. Jordan Stackpole, 76 through eight. Here we go again. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. 10 pin lead for Kelly on the right. On the bonus, back in the pocket. Seven, two, five, 10, left to right. 86 through eight, Stackpole. Same seven. Takes the four and seven down. One, two, nine, 10. Not quite. 82 through eight. We need another mark to win. At least, maybe two. Probably. Kelly for bonus money. No. Stack pull. Improbable shot. Oh, what a try. Oh, wood. Over the ninth. Just missed the 10. That close. Tough, tough break on a great shot. Kelly, nine. It's coming down to the final box again, folks. What else is new? This is Scarborough, Maine. We live and breathe on every piece of rolling wood. 95 for Dave Kelly. Stackpole, Jordan, nine. 91 through nine. One box to go. 
The lead, Greg, is nine for Dave Kelly on the right. Seven, six, no, it's 11, 11, 11, 11. 11. 11, which is a big six. difference, of course. So a, a, a nine box or a 10 box will force a double strike from Stackpole. The fifth seed trying to win the whole thing. Could be in trouble. Uh -huh. Kelly well, didn't get the nine drop this time, though. Christy Hapworth special. Stackpole needs a mark. That won't help. Still in it. Even. He's got to convert somehow. Has to get it. Oh, they'll be the runner-ups. Kelly trying to put it away here. No. Stackpole needs a mark and a big fill. Not out of it yet, needs it. Can he get it? No! Oh, the that's fifth it. seed can't quite climb the ladder, but the number one seed wins a thriller. <laughs> Kelly, occupant oh, yeah! eight, they win the championship. Jordan Stackpole, nine, 100. Dave Kelly, 103. What a match. Wow, wow, wow. Final score, Greg Guyar. Final score, a 10 pin victory for Doran and Kelly after winning the string by five, including the handicap working against them. Sean and Dave overcome it. And for Eric Mason and Jordan Stackpole, a ladder climb that falls short on the final rung. Stay tuned for the $100 strike challenge next on Canopin Bowling Network and the WON Sports. And don't forget, you, Network. don't forget you owe Dave Kelly 25 bucks. Yep, I got it. We'll be right with you, folks, but take a look at this. Okay, before we do the interviews, we're going to do change course. We're going to do the strike challenge first. We'll talk to the balls, the runner-ups next. Thanks, Greg, you are for helping out today. Let's do the strike challenge. The runner-ups, great effort today. We'll talk to you afterwards. Fourth chance to get $100 each. The $100 strike challenge, sponsored by Candle Pins for Cancer. Donations via Venmo, 24-7. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Get your wild shirts while they last. Candlepins for cancer shirts and hats. We're very stream live. $25 for the shirts, $20 for the hats, $10 each goes to the charity. Eric, four chances. No mark, no strike. Stack pull. That won't go. They'll reset. The champions will bowl. One ball for a strike. Dave Kelly's at the bar already. Come on down, Dave. You want 100 bucks or not? Can't celebrate yet, Dave. <laughs> you haven't got the money yet. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll do the interviews after this. Thank you for watching this great game of Cannibal Bowling. What a great day for Cannibal Bowling, folks. Got to love the Big 20. Thanks for Mike Walker for hosting and Leslie Walker for hosting. I do remind people of the strike challenge. All right. Each one ball for $100. They win $1,500 to split. Eric Mason, Jordan Stackpole, from fifth into the finals, the runner-up, winning $1,000 to split. Doran oh. has been hit, splits it. Kelly will go for a $100 strike challenge. Final chance today. Madison Kelly, the only one to get it. She's done it twice. Yeah. Kelly for a chance. No. Give a big crowd to the folks here. Let's talk to the runner-ups first. Eric Mason. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Jordan Stackpole. Come over here, Jordan, first. Take you over here. You guys have nothing to hang your hat on. You guys gave it your all. You're the fifth seed. You're not supposed to be here. You're supposed to be out after the first round. Three cr crazy matches today. Absolutely. I really enjoy this roller coaster ride of a sport. It's it's just amazing. So I, I, I look forward to it every time I show up. So I enjoy bowling with Jordan. So. You know, I, I, I can't say much else. I'm just tired. <laughs> 12, 12 games today. I'm ready to go home and go to bed. So, okay. Good effort. You. Jordan, you were awesome. You've been, it looks like you've been able to get a little bit gassed the last couple oh, of yeah, times. I was. I was definitely tired. I'm not used to bowling this much. So it was a lot of fun, though. I enjoyed bowling with Eric. We played against a good team, and I had a lot of again, fun. You were 41st in the first, first roll. If you bowled again, second entry you paid, and you got a, you came fifth. And to get this far is very impressive. Yes, it is. I'm I'm proud of us, you know what I mean? We showed up in fifth place. We had to make up 75 pins the first game. We did that one by two. And, you know, we won two games by two pins. So I'll take it every time. A great future on your second back, second stint, Candle yes. Bowling. Yes, I'm going to stick with it. I love it. I missed it. And I'm having a lot of fun doing it. So okay. Hold on, we get some money for you. Eric, give a three-letter word for going to the finals. Wow. All right, we got $1,000 for you to split. And don't forget, you owe a bunch of lemon drops. 
yeah. And I got the right envelope this time. It's not 600, it's 1,000. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Congratulations. Hope to see you again the next roll off here. Yep, we'll, we'll do it again. All right, we'll talk about it. All right, let's bring on the winners. Give it up for the winners. Great crowd, about five dozen people watching throughout the day. Sean Doran, and you struggled. It wasn't your best uptake. You finished strong in that last string. That helped you win it. Yeah, I'm glad Dave showed up. I figured out where to stand fire, and I had that last half to help him out to clinch it over. Money comes at a good time. Your mother's going through cancer treatments right now. Yep. She went in for a takeout for all the cancer, and now she's going to go for radiation. <laughs> Three-letter word for winning the championship. Wow! Dave Kelly. Where's Kelsey Layton? She didn't show up today. Yeah, she's probably still working. She's watching me on Facebook, though. What a, what a match. You guys bowled great. You were awesome all day. Yeah, I had the bowl to win. Jordan and Eric, they bowled a great match. They come from seed five to come up and face us, and they put us through the limit. And you, you guys have great respect for each other, too. The, the Big 20 crowd here is a very tightly knit family. We are. Yep. Got to love the Big 20. Right, so you're the only one to get three marks tomorrow. So we have $25 for you on bonus money. Five $5 bills, sorry. And then we got $59 for you guys to split. I'll give him the envelope there. All right? We get a three-letter word for winning the first ever Canopus for Cancer top five any doubles tournament. Wow. All right. Thanks for watching this great game of Canopus and Bowling. Back to Greg Guyot to wrap it up. Indeed, Paul. Thank you very much for watching this presentation of Candle Pins for Cancer and Candle Pin Bowling Network in the WON Sports Media Network. And until next time, so long.